Tormented and terrorized at school, stories of school bullies have made headlines around the country, and the most recent ended in suicide. And surprisingly, it's girls behind the abuse. The seventh grader you're about to hear from does not want to be identified, but she is speaking out, saying others need to know the toll of those cruel intentions. It's hard. It's every day that I tell my parents I don't want to go to school. This tearful 12 year old is afraid to go to school. Every day is a nightmare, a struggle to survive, being targeted by bullies. It was torture. And it's heartbreaking for her father. No kid should go to school in fear. Besides their house, School should be the next safest place. But for this young girl, school is a scary place, and other girls are to blame. She says she was singled out by them for no reason. It started with name calling and escalated to threats and vulgar text messages. I was thinking, why are they sending this to me? Why me? What did I do? Things turned violent after a gang of eight teenage girls followed her into a bathroom. I had the bathroom stall locked with the lock on closed. She was terrified. Then the ringleader burst in. She kicked the door open. She escaped from the bathroom, but just moments later, she was attacked. She jumped on top of my back, pulled my hair, and started pounding on the back of my head. Then she threw me against the wall, and then she threw me on the floor and started pounding and pounding. She had bruises. Her eyes, she had a black eye. Her father says the physical injuries are nothing compared to the psychological damage. She was more traumatized than hurt. She couldn't sleep at night. She would actually have to crawl into bed with my wife and myself because she was afraid to sleep alone in her room. And that family is not alone. Across the country, we're hearing about an explosion of girls ganging up, bullying, and attacking each other. In Massachusetts, it ended in suicide. 15-year-old Phoebe Prince hung herself after she was terrorized by a gang of bullies. And although it was clearly suicide, two boys and four girls are charged in connection with her death. Experts say bullies look for the vulnerable and then attack. These are brilliantly conducted campaigns, the, uh, the way one would conduct a war. Dr. Rosalind Dorlin is an expert who treats the victims. She says, make no mistake about the perpetrators, they are mean girls. They know what buttons to push, so I think there is an intention to inflict pain and harm. It's a disturbing trend that has some local schools looking for answers. Here, 700 girls ages 12 to 17 attend a presentation by bully expert and author Rachel Simmons at Governor Livingston High School in New Jersey. You have to know how to express yourself. Simmons says girls resort to bullying because they don't know how to deal with conflict and they need to be taught. What we need to do is give girls that middle ground, the skills to say, I'm not happy with what you're doing, we need to talk about it. If girls don't have their, those skills, they will become cruel. Girls who heard the lecture admit relationships with other girls can be rough. It was really traumatizing in middle school. The girls can be brutal. You can have a friend one day and then she can't, she wouldn't be your friend the next. People don't really realize that you can take a lot of things to heart. It was horrible. I was alone. This girl wants everyone to know how hurtful the bullying can be. And she wants her message to reach other girls who are hurting as well. They will learn from what I have went through. They will know how to stand up to themselves and speak out. Now, the girl responsible for the attack we were just talking about there was suspended. The target of the bullying is applying for a transfer to a different school for next year.